Paul George on the break, going right. He pulls up the fadeaway three. Paul! All right, 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 all right. So, you know, I just seen Chris Paul advance to the finals on the Los Angeles Clippers home court. The team he was a member of for like eight years, and now they have to watch the guy. You get it. You know everything that happened. I walk to my computer. I'm like, man, I wonder what video I should be recording today. And then I look I look at the Twitch chat. Click, probably doing the Clippers rebuild. Yo, I bet you're doing the clip. Yo, how's the Clippers rebuild going? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, on that note, I'm trading Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard he always leaves in 2k he has one year left on his contract he's not gonna stay so who is that who is it that i will be replacing Kawhi leonard with well i have a player in mind a man who does not get a lot a lot of love in simulations rebuilds anything despite always being like a 28 and 10 guy i'm talking about carl anthony town and d'angelo russell and malik beasley see but when i add this first round pick to this deal they are going to accept the trade offer look you might be like whoa whoa, whoa you throw in a first round pick and Kawhi. look i don't care i'm enhancing the challenge we still winning this ring regardless and also, by the way, I'm, I'm enhancing my rules. I'm enforcing my rules where I cannot trade the player I just traded for for a season. D'Lo, you stay in here. Malik Beasley, you stay in here. And Towns, you here to stay. Let me get 40 likes and subscribers gained on this video for the amount of championships that Reggie Jackson deserves after that run he just put on. Next up, I'm trading this trash can of a package to the Blazers for their first round pick. I don't know. We just don't really have a lot of picks, and I feel like you need those to like exploit this. I'm not absolutely sure why, but I really want Jaron Jackson on this basketball team. Can you give me Jaron? Never mind. That's not happening. Okay. Um, what I'm about to say, don't worry about how it's possible. Worry about the fact that it happened. The Atlanta Hawks have agreed to your trade offer. Now, what would you think I traded? Hmm, Tony Snow, right? Oh, yeah. What, what could I possibly want from the Atlanta Hawks? Tony Snow. No, 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 but for real, though, when you scroll up a little bit more, just a little. Oh, oh, who's that? Oh, who? Oh, oh, Trey Young. Yep, I got Trey Young. Trey Young, D'Angelo Russell, Carl Anthony Townsend, Paul George. That is your new Los Angeles Clippers big four. How did I do this? I traded Malik Beasley. Sorry. I know I said I wouldn't trade the guys I just traded for, but I broke the rule. Serge Ibaka, Reggie Jackson, three first round picks. If the Hawks ever accepted this in real life, they had negotiations with Deion Waiters, if you know what I mean. Now, we can honestly just simulate, right? We have Trey, but I, 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 I mean, I might as well keep going. We haven't even traded like half of the roster yet. Although Terrence Mann, uh, he kind of has to stay. Okay, this is just bullying. I'm honestly not going to do this. They're trying to just lob me Clint Capella. Actually, you know what? That doesn't even make sense. Uh, eh, and I just made one more big trade. Okay, um, I got Pascal Siak. I can't even definitively say that I want Pascal Siakam because of the fact that I just had him in my last rebuild, but I traded Marcus Morris, sorry, Tony Snell, Vicha Zubak, and uh, a bunch of second round picks that nobody wanted anyways. For some reason, the Clippers have mad second round picks. So, well, now they don't. Now they don't. They have four. Now we have a starting lineup of Trey, D'Angelo, Paul George, Nickel. No, no, no. Pascal Siakam and Town. Now for the bench. I'm not going to lie. The Isaiah Thomas backup plan in free agency is a very possible possibility right now. Ah, uh, yes. Now this is more like it. Ayo Lu. Ooh, Will, you want to make your way back to the uh, LA? I apologize that we traded you for Rondo, but uh, I'm going to trade Patrick Patterson, Derek Jones Jr. in a second round pick for Lou Will back. And, you know, something's just telling me not to keep Nicholas Batum because I feel like I see him sell a lot in 2K and look who pops up on the trade finder. Oh, yes. Bull Bull. Welcome to the team, Bull Bull. That is probably going to be the last trade. You're moving to power forward because you're, you're too skinny. And also, look at this. I've been meaning to mention this for a few videos. This guy, Earl Jenkins, is literally a cheat code. This guy has a 99 potential with a 90. I don't like, I don't know how it works exactly, but it says 99 potential and he's in the G League and he's just sitting here. Can I sign him? Yes, I can. Earl Jenkins accepts a four-year offer. Forget Isaiah. Sorry, Isaiah. This right here is going to be the nine-man rotation we run to start off. Terrence Mann is still here, by the way. I had to keep someone, the heart and soul of that team that just went to the conference finals in here. And of course, Paul George is here with Trey Young, D'Angelo, Pascal, and Carl Towns in the starting lineup. You know, not a lot of defense aside from Paul and Pascal, but hey, whatever. Yo, I'm not going to lie. If I didn't have my little rule that I set up, I would literally do this in a heartbeat. But uh, no, no, no. We, we gonna stick to it. I mean, hey, you know what they say. Offense wins championships. Oh, yeah. And Boogie is still here. I forgot about him. If I'm not mistaken, Trey Young and Paul George are our only all-stars. I mean, that's fine by me. Dunk! Kawhi Leonard, all-NBA second team. Now, we had no all-NBA players. We're four games worse than the Lakers. And Kawhi's team did not make the playoffs. Here's a look at our stats. Trey Young led in scoring and assists. Towns averaged 18 and 10. D'Angelo averaged 19 and 7. Siakam was cool. Boogie was cool. I'm not gonna lie. Earl Jenkins was kind of trash, but uh, he, he became an 82. So I kind of just let him rock. All right. So playoff starting. We're playing the hell out of the starters, but uh, the bench is still getting a couple minutes too. And Portland first round. And uh, okay, they're up two and they're up three. They're up three one. They're up three one. Who's selling? Who sold me in this game? Trey. Okay. Well, I can't do anything about that. Siakam and Trey Young are both selling in this series. Look at their percentages. And so is Earl. So, you know, here's what we're going to do. Earl, it's wraps for you. You added a rotation. Siakam is now the sixth man and Bull Bull will start. 
start. We're gonna have to keep relying on Trey Young. And let me go over the blaze. I didn't think I would have to do this first round, but let me make sure that uh Damian Lillard is guarded by Paul George. Down 3-1. And this next game was easy work. 124-108. Look at Siakam bowling off the bench. Okay, next game. We are going to win another game. 3-1 lead. Blazers, how is it feeling? Back to game game seven. Look at Trey Young picking it up, picking up the pace. There's one more game we can advance and not be failures. Oh god, we might still we are we are right next to being failure. We are so close to being failures. I can't even like explain how much hope I retain until like the last minute of these games because look at this. Like we're so close yet so far. And oh god, hold on. You know what's game seven? Screw it. They have the ball, but it's a minute left. Is there any way we could stop this team? Lillard gonna get the screen from Covington. Lillard going right, pulls up mid-range shot is off. Rebound by Trey. Trey all the way up to Paul George. Wide open dunk on the break. The Blazers need a timeout with 49 seconds left. Carl Towns fouled out of this game with a minus 28 plus minus. That is nuts. CJ's the player of the game. What the hell? I got to shut him down too. Covington into McCollum. McCollum guarded by D'Angelo. McCollum to the basket. Pulls up. That one's off. Rebound. Trey Young gets it up to Paul. Paul George on the break. Going right. He pulls up the fadeaway three. Paul. What the hell has gotten into playoff P? Lillard guarded by George. 32 seconds left. Paul George, can you clutch out this game seven? Let's see. He's in front of Lillard. Lillard to the basket. Lillard, he takes the shot. Close shot is off. Rebound, Boogie. Boogie, he's bringing it up himself over to Russell. What the? I didn't expect this to actually work. Well, I mean, hold on. No jinx yet. It hasn't worked yet. D'Angelo going left to the basket. D'Angelo, okay, he's got cancer on him. He brings it back out and he pulls the three. No. He misses. You gotta be kidding me. Why didn't you just take him to the basket? And Lillard, he missed the second free throw. We have no... Wait, no, we do have timeouts. We're not gonna take them over to Trey. Trey back to Boogie. Boogie over to Paul. No time left. The three is off. Can we acknowledge how Paul George almost just did the Damian Lillard shot, but reverse? Bro gonna be saying, I don't care what anybody says. That's a bad shot to himself. We just lost in game seven by three points in the first round. It cannot. That was, I'm not gonna lie though. I'm not even disappointed. That was incredible. Why, but I don't know why D'Angelo shot that three when we didn't need a three. Hey, yo, I'm not gonna lie. We traded in Pascal. Sorry, Pascal, but uh, I didn't really want him anyway. Ways, I just kind of got him. We trade in Pascal. We keep in everybody else, and we're back next year. Trey had 34 and 16. I kind of wish he would have pulled the three. Do we think about trading Towns? Was Towns kind of underachieving? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. But I mean, hey, the Clippers have been eliminated round one in Game Seven. Oh, that was wild. Ao Portland. Oh wow, they actually made it to the conference finals, and they lost. And the okay, yeah, you got to be ready to beat the Nets next year. Oh, Chauncey's still the assistant coach here in this, and so is Kenny Atkinson. I'm actually gonna fire. I, I know he actually did a pretty decent decent job in real life, but I'm going to fire Tyron Lue. You know what, Steven C. Lost, they letting you go in Houston after that one season of, of just trash? It probably wasn't your fault. You know what, let's give you a shot. All right, I'm holding on to Pascal past the NBA draft because I can't find a trade that I want to make for him before the draft, so uh, yeah. He's trying to decline the Terrence Mann team option? No, Terrence, come back. Reggie Jackson averaged 16 points per game as Atlanta's new starter. Ayo, the prophecy has to be fulfilled. Free agency is over. Out. Trey won it by five overall. Earl Jenkins is an 83. Bull Bulls is 79. Oh God, Reggie got over old as hell. Lou got old as hell. And I signed just mad people that got old. That's so dumb. Kawhi Leonard left the Wolves to go back to the Raptors. You know he had that in mind. All right, so I'm trying to make one of those like goat level trades or at least big time trades and I'm gonna need some more for first round picks. Sure, Miami, take Alex Caruso for your first round pick and then Mavericks, I will indubitably take one of your picks in Tyrell Terry. Sorry, Lou Will, but we got Reggie now. So like we have a whole rotation right now as it is just to be honest with you. Well, I tried it. I tried this move with a couple of the 90 plus overall really entertaining guys like, uh, you know, Anthony Davis, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. Oh, but I regret not trading Pascal at the NBA draft because I can't find any offers for him. So uh, we're just going to keep Pascal, but start Bo Bo because he was our savior there for a while. And uh, we'll see how the hell this season goes. Well, we're playing pretty good and Trey Young is God. So I'm not going to change anything this year. We're just going to stick with it. Hames Jordan. Oh, we were the best in the Western Conference, but Steve Nash still won coach of the year. So that must mean we're not the best best. And Trey Young made the all NBA second team 62 and 20. Uh, we, we look to be doing pretty. I don't know. How the hell is Tyrell Terry playing? Is this a glitch? This had to have been G League stats. Oh God, of course we have to play the Warriors who are always scary in this game. First round, game one is a win. Game two is a win. Game three is a win. And game four, wow, okay, you know, a 3-1, 3-1. 4-1, we are moving on to the second round. We did it. We finally did it. The second round. Get the conference finals. We we're just trying to move on from round one. And uh, the Grizzlies, I'm just gonna hope this goes well too. If the last one went well itself, 3-0 and 3-1 and 4-1. Oh, if it's been going this well, then I don't really think there's any reason reason to look at changing anything we're playing the denver nuggets in the conference finals they're starting Qu chris duarte i don't know who the hell that is and we lost game one okay so this is gonna happen who played trash d'angelo okay you know what? i don't know if i can bench
Luis D'Angelo, but uh, it just took Reggie Jackson in the rotation. I don't know how he got the short end of the stick, but whatever. Trey Young and D'Angelo just carried us to a win. So I guess my intuition was correct. And Earl Jenkins had 15. Now, he was kind of trash last year, but he's actually been good this year. Next game, we win again, and uh, it, it looks like things are going pretty well. I mean, we're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. We're up 3-2, and we're in the finals. D'Angelo had 49-5. and Good thing I did not bench this man. We're now playing the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. Oh, God. Marcus Smart's going to piss somebody off. I guess it'll be D'Angelo. And, they, you know, I don't really know why 2K hasn't updated the Kemba Walker trade, but I don't really care. I mean, maybe I will care in a second if he kills us in this finals. Can I just complete the challenge as a whole? Okay, uh, game one went well. Towns had 38, 12, and 8. And game two looks like it also is gonna go. Yep, we won another game. Paul George, 34, Trey, 30. Uh, I believe this whole, except for P Pascal Siakam, nobody else in this team has a ring. So, uh, I, I think, I, unless I'm tripping. So, we're all fighting for that first. But most importantly, Paul George on his team. Game four is another win. Or game three, Trey Young, 44 and 11. And well, we're up by three points with 140 left. The Celtics have the ball and we're trying to close out this championship. Tatum, he gets a screen from Tristan Thompson. He goes left. He stops. He goes to the basket. Tatum, the layup is easy. I just realized Bo Bo has been guarding Tatum the entire series. And we're, we're on the verge of sweeping them. Trey Young now isoing on Kemba. Trey Young goes right. He pulls up. Moving three by Trey is good. Without any doubt, really. And Kelly Olynyk is back on the Celtics. I don't know who the hell number 53 is in the corner over there. And uh, Chase and Tatum gets double teamed over to Kemba. Kemba wide open three. Well, okay. This is pick your poison. Trey Young, 109 left. Trey Young to the basket. He makes it all the way. No way he hits that. Okay. Kemba Walker down to Tristan Thompson. And he hits the layup. The announcer just bugged all the way the hell out like he was the Hornets announcer. Matter of fact, Town Siakam and Cousins are all in the game right now with Bull Bull. What is going on, actually? How am I just realizing this? Trey Young, that was an awful shot. Paul George and D'Lo are getting ready to check in. But how the hell did this lineup happen? Tatum trying to get around him. And actually, the, the Celtics have the lead now. They've came back from down three. And Tatum to the basket. He makes it all the way there. And Bobo, Bo, how do you not block that with his lanky self? Trey Young, they take the timeout. Okay, good call. Uh, what's your, whatever the hell your name is. Steven. Siakam, Siakam, Siakam. Pass in to uh, Russell. I don't even know how Siakam made his way in. And oh my God, D'Angelo just dropped the ball. And we're about to lose. I mean, unless we hit a three here, I'm out of here. D'Angelo, what you got? What, okay, um, he's got nothing right now. D'Angelo to the basket. Lay up. He missed it. Okay, you know, he got, he got fouled. But I think we know this one's probably over. Yep. We lose by three points. Tatum had 48. Okay. But I'm not going to change the match. I'm going to let Bo Bo try. Actually, Paul George is already guarding uh, Jalen Brown. So it's not like I can really do much there. And we just didn't allow them to score for like the last two minutes. Look at this. Tatum turnover. Someone else turned the ball over. Tatum jump shot miss. Thompson jump shot miss. Tatum another turnover. Jesus, they had three turnovers. Another turnover. Like they didn't do nothing for the last two and a half minutes. Well, that is it. The Los Angeles Clippers are the 2000 and whatever the hell NBA champions. Actually, I think this is only 2022. So yeah, Los Angeles Clippers have officially won a championship. The impossible has been done. Uh, Trey Young is finals MVP. There goes Pascal celebrating with the champagne 2K bottle. And there's the whole squadron celebrating all together. Trey had 30. Siakam actually had 20. Paul George, 17. Towns, Bull Bull. He held the trio to absolutely garbage shooting. I don't even know how they're in this game. Trey Young averaged 31 and 11 a game. Here's the playoff stats as a whole. Paul George is finally a champion. And literally everybody on this team except for Pascal as well as Boogie and Reggie. Well, that is officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. Shout out to Earl Jenkins. Let me know what you want to see next and I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Actually, before I get the hell up and out of here, even more love to Paul George. I don't know why, but well, yes, he has deserved some criticism in past years with some playoff P play. I don't know. This guy, like, he's been, I, I've been watching basketball since just about the time that he got into the league and he's always been a staple of the league ever since I've known, as far as I've known. So shout out to Paul George. Shout out to Danny Granger. Now I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Bye.